All right, this is my second attempt at making a part two. <laughs> so just bear with me. I messed up a couple times, but uh, I left off at moving to your actual barracks from the Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is that central station you rolled into off your bus straight to boot camp. And that's where you stay for the processing period. And then you march across base to your ship. The ships are actually buildings, not ships. You'll never see a ship at boot camp, which is, I think is sad because it's the Navy. You're not going to see a ship. <laughs> but um, when you get to your rooms, your barracks, uh, you'll get set up, meet your RDCs, hear the instructions. The windows are all whited out, so don't expect to be able to look outside and like see daylight. You won't see a lot of daylight the first few weeks at all unless you're marching. Okay, you'll get set up. You'll Every day is going to be roughly the same, <laughs> almost. Uh, you'll learn how to fold all your stuff over and over and over again. We even learned how to fold stuff to, like the last week before graduation, which is very sad. Uh, <laughs> And uh, you'll get issued equipment, I mean equipment and clothing and apparel and stuff like that, like three times through boot camp. First one's the, or four times on boot camp, three or four. The first one's the, the Smurfs that you're going to be wearing when you march <laughs> across to your, to your ship. The Smurfs, the, the sweatsuit, that's what they call them, the PT gear, shoes, toiletries, stuff like that. The second is the NWs, the camos, uh, Navy working uniform is what they're called, the camos, uh, your boots. You get sized up for those. Make sure you you tell people, like if they size you for the boots and they don't feel like they fit right, tell people <laughs> so they can get them changed out or not, or else you'll get stuck with uh, the crappy boots for the rest of boot camp. Um, it's easy to break in the boots. It's not as hard as people think. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, just tie the boots tight and walk in them. That's fine. If they're loose, they're going to rub against your feet and they're going to call blisters. That's because they're freaking rubbing. Uh, <laughs> I did, it didn't take me that long to break in my boots. Well, not to break in my boots, but for my feet to get used to the boots. I had a couple blisters. They weren't big. We have thick socks. so And they give you like little Band-Aid things, skin patches to put over blisters to help bolster them. They give you that in um, processing, actually. And so you have stuff to help you along the way if you get a blister. So you don't have to whine about it all the time. Just suck it up. Take it for like two weeks until your feet adapt. You'll be fine. Um, unless you were lucky enough to get the division with sneakers. Then you don't have to worry about it. Yay! Uh, let's see. You get set up in your rack. They teach you how to make your, make your rack. They give you sheets and stuff. You have to fold it just right. They'll show you how to. I could make a video about how to fold your stuff. I'm not going to because they show you over and over and over again. They beat it like a dead horse. Um, so if you're one of those overachievers like I was, I was looking up everything to, to know for boot camp. You don't need to because they tell you everything over and over again. You'll learn. You'll learn how to fold your stuff over and over again. Um, and the reason for folding stuff is inspections. Uh, there's three major inspections uh, that are formal, but you get randomly inspected by a FQA, which is a point tallying person for <laughs> to, to find out if a division is great or is going to graduate like with some special honors or stuff. Don't worry about them. Those uh, those guys. Um, I mean, worry about them by doing what you have to do and doing it right. You'll be fine. Uh, just pay attention though how they tell you to fold stuff. It's always got to be nice and neat and stacked away properly. I'm not going to go through everything like that, but I will talk about inspections before I go into like the daily routine. The three major inspections. One, the first one is the NWUs and making your rack. Boom. Yeah. You have to put those on pretty quickly. They give you um, 10 minutes to get dressed. Get dressed properly, tie your boots correctly, and the boots have to be tied up proper way. I'll, I, since it's quick, I'll show you. Um, uh, don't double tie, but uh, starting at the bottom, you see how the laces go from the left over the right. If you're looking at the boot, it goes left over right. If you're looking down, it goes right over left. If you're on top, just remember that. <laughs> if you're looking straight at the boot, left over right. The laces go left over right, and at the bottom. They go under the thing, <laughs> and that has to go through every loop and make sure it doesn't slip out and tie it right. And they give you blousing straps that go around your boot. That's actually these things. 
little elastic bands snap around your boot so you can tuck your pants under it and uh, under the third the third notch or the third little thing it'll be right there boop, between three and four they'll tell you over and over again <laughs> but that's just a little taste of how it's got to be there's tons of little details they'll show you how to make your belt proper <laughs> The buckle proper and everything it's got to be the right length there can't be any overhang like too much overhang under the belt like that they had these weird like class belts where it just like pulls in you'll you'll find out but the inspections uh you get like 10 minutes to dress into your nwus and then stand for the inspection at attention like ready to go on the toe line and they inspect you and as they inspect you they ask you questions the first few weeks it's uh, mostly about chain of command um, know what they wear as a collar device uh, know their names obviously their, their rank um, stuff like that um, those are the major questions and they pile up pretty pretty easily so sample question what is a petty officer first class wear uh, on the sleeve of his dress blue uniform or something like that or what is the collar device yeah I'll say the collar device it's just a, a perched eagle with three sh three chevrons <laughs> don't confuse the perched eagle with the spread eagle the captain the spread eagle like yeah and it's got like a little branch in its feet don't confuse the two but you'll have plenty of time to learn that just take time learning it it doesn't take that well it, it takes a long time just repetition you learn everything <laughs> so know those questions and you'll get through boot camp fairly easily so rank name of everybody uh chain of command is a big one sailor's creed is a big one obviously i keep saying that but it's worth repeating because it gets re repeated over and over and over and over again so <clears throat> Okay, inspections uh, cover the first one. Uh, they actually swap out, so uh, you'll have uh, 10 minutes to get in your uniform, and then you'll have another section of that inspection where you have to make your rack a proper way, tear it, like unrack it, take all the sheets and stuff off, and then make it back. <laughs> but um, that's mainly in the inspections. How the inspections look for the rest of boot camp, kind of too. Uh, they beat it like a dead horse again over and over and over again you'll get a lot of practice doing that stuff it's ungodly oh my god oh just thinking about it makes me crazy but um the more uniforms you get the more you have to inspect in other uniforms like the uh nsu's is next the the brown top actually i have no i already hung it up but uh. Uh, the brown top with the black pants, that's the NSU's, the Navy working uniform. It kind of looks Marine-ish, but I guess the Marines look like ours because we came first. But, uh, um, yeah, they inspect that. The belt has to be a certain way. The shoelaces have to be tied a certain tightness. <laughs> it's There's a lot of details. Uh, they'll preach it. But the third uh, inspection is dress whites or dress blues, whatever. It depends on the time of year. You'll learn all those facts later, but those are the three main uh, inspections. Um, and it's all about stowing, too. Like, you open your rack and you stall all the clothes there. They'll inspect that, too. That's part of the inspection, depending on uh, what you got, what inspection you're on. But they'll tell you what you need to do. So it's one of those three things. Um, and if you fail on inspection, they will threaten you with being asmoed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I mean, I passed all my inspections. I ask you to do the same. It's not that hard. Just pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, don't try to rush to get on the tow line. Make sure you have everything right before you get on the tow line because you can't change anything. Once you get on the tow line for inspection, you stand at attention and wait for them, <laughs> for everybody else to finish. So, um, You will get ITE'd after the first two inspections, no matter how well you did or how well your division did. They will try to make you feel like crap and try to make you feel like you didn't do well enough and then uh, make the entire division um, exercise for like 15 minutes straight. It's very hard. It's like two of the hardest days in boot camp besides P-Days. <laughs> P-Days are rough. Just a lot of standing and sitting, no moving at all. 
that was the worst part because uh, I don't know. I can't stand for long periods of time. Still, I like moving around. Don't do a lot of that in NP days. But uh, the ITEs, they're like 15 minutes long. You'll see videos on here that's like, you know, the IT days for like two hours. No, it's a lie. They can't do it that long. They're not allowed to. It's <laughs> so anybody that says that, like past the year 2000, is just lying. That's <laughs> that's in the rule book, the red book of rules. They pulled that out a bunch. Um, let's see, and that consists of the same basic exercises as I told you earlier, push-ups, stuff like that. Um, okay, that's it for inspections. I'll go with a daily routine, and then I'll probably start another video after that. So. Those inspections are on like week two, week four-ish, and then last part of week six. So it's spread out pretty evenly. And for the second inspection, you actually deal with weapons turnover, um, which is knowing certain facts about like hostile intent and when you can use a weapon, when to discharge a weapon and stuff like that. I don't have all the questions to that. Uh, they might have it online somewhere. I can look and probably make a video about that. but they'll teach you and you have plenty of time to learn so if you don't learn it's your fault <laughs> that's all it is boot camp isn't that hard and the hardest thing for me was the sleep the sleeping patterns you can't nap at all at all throughout boot camp if they see you napping they'll wake you up make you exercise that's all there is to it you will always sleep only eight hours a night and that's if you get to sleep right on time um that was the hardest part for me dealing with the sleep because I like sleeping nine hours sometimes and uh, some days I feel like I need a nap and you're just gonna have to suffer through the the need for a nap because you'll wake up at 6 a.m. every morning some days 5 30 or 5 depending on what the schedule looks for the day but mostly 6 a.m. Uh, you'll wake up early like four or five times throughout boot camp so it's not a lot so 10 to 6 a.m. is when you sleep but when you have to wake up early they let you go to sleep a little bit earlier so it's it's really easy to deal with um, like you don't lose sleep if you have to get up earlier unless you have watch watch is another thing I'll talk about in the next video um, but the daily routine the first 15 minutes is getting hygiene brushing teeth shaving uh, fixing your rack getting your uniform on in 15 minutes which is fairly hectic and then you stand on the tail line and wait after that you get chow you eat chow three times a day the times vary and I'll talk about chow chow is usually good well, for me, it was good. Um, breakfast is usually the same all the time. Eggs, waffles, uh, pancakes. You always have eggs and, like, bacon or something as a choice, and then, like, pancakes and waffles. There's always a fruit bar for breakfast and cereal available. Um, for lunch and dinner, for chow, uh, there's always a salad bar, which is great. I always had a salad, and it's got a lot of stuff on it, like tuna salad and stuff like that. And... Um, uh, it's not as good as when you get to A school though. The salad bars at A school are a lot better because they have actual lettuce and not the iceberg bullcrap. Iceberg lettuce, very low nutrition. <laughs> it's just like grass. I mean, uh, dead grass. Hay. It's like you're eating hay. But uh, chow for lunch and dinner is hit and miss. Sometimes they have like Taco Tuesday kind of deal. They can give you a burrito, which is very filling. I love those days. Sometimes they have little pizzas, stuff like that. I mean, it's just. It's better than uh, high school cafeteria food, that is for sure. And people that complain about chow lines at boot camp probably lived in a rich neighborhood <laughs> and had access to a plethora of food. Um, but chow is fine. Um, PT, ah, oh, crap, it's getting, the video is getting kind of long. I'll talk about PT and PT standards on the next video. Uh, and then I'll be it. All right, here comes part three soon.